everybody, it's Diane. I'm here with part two of using the children's art. And I did show this in that video. This was done by a child, and I thought it was so cute. And some little bell just went off in my brain that I thought, that would be a cute book cover. And you could put it on like, oh, I don't know, you know, an art journal that has nothing on the front yet. Good idea. So I did back it with a piece of construction paper that is not straight. It was a scrap that apparently was cut crooked at one point. So I'll probably put, you know, a flower or something. And um, I thought about painting, you know, doing like a mixed media background. So I put one of my painted papers under it and it was just way too busy. I think because of the pattern here, it just did not look right. So I'm piecing scrapbook papers here and why I already have some on is because I already started this video and I knocked over my little garbage container here not once but twice and I just thought that it was just way too stupid so I started it again <laughs> hmm garbage day. I don't know if you can hear the garbage truck going by. That's not bad. And yeah, once it's glued down and I camouflage that crooked edge, I have no idea if I'm done. I I don't know if I want to write anything on it, you know, you have to tell people it's an art journal. I, have, I don't know. Might be okay. That might be a nice filler. I think that's too busy. Oh, that matches nicely. Well, maybe I'll get rid of these dots. And that, yeah, okay, it's perforated. What does that say? Burnett's Fine Laundry. I guess I'll save it. It's not just laundry, it's fine laundry. Well, they're kind of, you know, maybe I should cut those out. Okay, remind me of that. I like the uh, look there, those lines. And I think because of the, you know, spiral here, I was thinking of leaving a border and then that'll look a little more intentional if I did, because you know, I can't get up under there with this stuff. So if I leave a border, around well actually maybe I have enough stuff here I think I might that's kind of cute I guess we don't need this do we want little mushrooms 
thing be. All right, well, I guess I can pause. It looks like enough. I might have to piece in a little, but I will, um, no, stop flipping out. Um, I'll glue that and then come back and we'll see what's going on. Okay, hang on. Okay, the background's all glued down. I sewed around here. I think that just added a little bit. It was a little too plain for me. So here we are. That's okay. But I think it's, yeah, the background's a little competing with our turtle. So what do I usually do? Gesso. I think I'm going to do a little gessoing over it. I think I'm going to lay it on here for a sec because I don't want it to start looking too busy though. So yeah, it's a fine line between <laughs> knocking it back, knocking it back too much and making it look too busy, right? Hmm. Yeah, the hmm in the Diane Decoder book means she's not real sure about this. I just leave it at that. <laughs> I'm not loving it, but I do think it's better. So that's something. Yeah, I think, yeah. I just think without it, it was just too much. Just too much for our little turtle here. And I was thinking of maybe going around the edge with black when it's done. We'll see. Or dark blue. That's pretty good. Well, you know, this actually is not going to take very long to dry. There's, it's very thin. But I have to go wash up. <laughs> All right. Well, I have to go wash up. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, if the turtle is glued down, the flowers are not. I'm not going to do the mushrooms. I think the little tiny pattern is back to looking too busy. I have my stamp set here. I think I'm going to stamp out art journal. As long as we have room. And I'm not going to measure or anything. I just want it to look you know, intentionally sort of messy. And I could have went with stickers, but I thought I wanted dark. I wanted it to stand out. So this is dark. I am missing a few numbers. That one set doesn't have a J. Okay, I'll use the other set. Did I say numbers? <laughs> Letters. I've been doing that a lot lately, man. Say the totally wrong word. I don't know. I'm tired. I have been tired lately. Forgive me. I'm surprised I'm spelling this correctly. I am so far, right? Right. 
and I could have left the R and the A out, right? Right. Alright, now N and that set. I, I think this N is a little wonky. Yeah, it's for some reason, you know, like a 95 year old set of rubber stamps are not pristine. Figure that out. Lost the A here. Okay, well, it's a tad off center, which is why I did not glue the flowers down. I didn't know if I would, do we want more? I think more, or I could stay, you know what I think I'll do? Stamp a few flowers around this just for fun and because we can. Now you have to admit, nobody else is going to have an art journal like this one, right? Uh, or at least the cover is what I'm talking about. Okay, I think that's adequate. I don't want to overdo that either. Okay. Um... Let me see. If I know I have more of this pad. Just a second. I gotta put this down. I found it. I'm gonna make my husband edit that out. I was looking. It was right there, but of course I couldn't find it right away. And I've used this about all up. Let's see. There's more flowers there. Well, is there one different ones we haven't used, like the green? Okay, right here. I know that's a partial one, but we'll put it like that or something. And like one more down here. Well, what about this? I'm over, I'm going to go over here. This green color. That enough. Here, let's cut these out. See how fast we can do this. Are there any fussy cutting competitions out there? I don't think I would do too well at that. Do you want speed or accuracy? Make up your mind. That's another odd couple reference. All right. Oh. That's glued real well. Look at that. <laughs> okay. I was going to weight this down when I'm done, but I think we need a little more glue under there. Almost. Okay. Well, I think that's okay. And then a border around. Well, okay, you know what? I'll pause because I'm just going to glue. And if I draw. A border around. Nobody wants to watch that either, right? Could do washi tape around. Would that be more fun? 
Let me grab my box just for a second. Just for a second? That doesn't make any sense. Diane, shut up. If there were washi tapes... No, that's too busy. Okay. We tried it. All right, I'm going to pause, glue, do some sort of border, and then come back. Okay, I think I'm done. As you can see, I did a dotted line around instead of a solid border. I figured because of the stitching, that might look okay. I think it's pretty fun. I had thought of doing a narrow stitch line on the inside. That, I'm sure that would look okay, but I wasn't sure if it would start to tip into the too busy, so I decided to leave well enough alone. One little footnote. It does look a little juvenile, like it is for a child. <laughs> and what can I say if the shoe fits, right? But just keep that in mind. Maybe that's not a look you want. I think it's pretty fun and pretty cute and original. I like it. All right. Thanks for joining me. Have a very nice day out there.